All right, welcome back. So this is a basic concept problem. In a previous video, we went over the basic concepts of an electrical circuit, which I'll link in the right of this video. Here, we want to find the power delivered to an element if the current entering that element or current entering the positive terminal is right there and the voltages are as follow. So we know that this current will be absorbed. So that should come out as positive if the current is entering the positive terminal of the element. Then find the power delivered to an element, which is still going to get that absorbed. But in, in a sense, though, we have to think about this a little bit differently, though, because the voltages are a little bit different, which involve integration, which might come out as negative because of the cosine integration. So the power delivered to the element at 5 milliseconds, if the current remains the same, so the current in this case will remain the same. However, though, you can see that voltages are changed. All right, so let's get this problem done. So A, and let's call this one, let's call this two. So one, one A, we see that the first is V is equal to three times I. So if we multiply I by three, we then get 15 cosine 60 pi of T and that is going to be in volts. We can find the power. So P is equal to V times I. And we know that also, what else do we have? Okay, that's, oh, okay, okay, so we need the three milliseconds. So T is equal to 0 0.003 seconds. We then go ahead and say P of T is equal to 15 times 5, 75. That's going to be 75. Cosine squared. And that should be in watts. So that's the expression for the power. If we evaluate PFT at 0 0.003, we get 53.48 watts. So if we then go ahead and take, if we differentiate the current and then multiply it by three, we're going to get V in this case, and then we're gonna remultiply that by I to get the power. So that will be B. So B, we can then go ahead and say that D of, D of I and T is equal to, so in the parentheses comes out. So we take this out to be negative pi, and that will be, we can include the five right there sine, so cosine changes from that to that, times t, and then we can multiply that by three. We then get that v, v of t is equal to 900. Let me put that in my calculator to see. So that would be 60 times five, 300, and times three, okay, good. So that would be 900 pi sine 60 pi of t, well, times t, and that will be in volts. So we then go ahead and multiply that by sine, or we can just do it in one. So we can just say P of t is equal to, we multiply that by five, so five times nine, 345, so that'd be 45,000, so that'd be negative 45,000 
well, 4,500, I should say, the pi, and then we have sine of 60 pi t times the cosine from the current, 60 pi t, and that will be in watt. So here, basically, what we did was V times I. So we multiply this guy by our current evaluation at 0 0.003 that will equal to negative 6.396 kilowatts. So that is the power delivered to an element when the voltage is this and the current is that. So which is three times the derivative of the current and the current remains the same. So for two, we go back again, look at two. So the current remains the same. This time the first one A is two times I. So that'd be, so let's call it problem two. And this is A of problem two. So V is equal to two times I. It will be 10 cosine 60 pi times T being volts. We can then go ahead and get the power is equal to V times I. That will equal to 10 times five, 50. And we'll get cosine squared 60 pi times T being watt. So that's P of T. We then, if we evaluate that, however, this time we evaluate that at 0 0.005, which is five milliseconds. We get that the power is equal to 17.27 watts. For B, the voltage is given in this form. We'll simplify this and then multiply it by the current to find the power. So the first step is to integrate. So let's V is equal to 10 plus and we just write that out before we integrate. So that'll be 10 plus five integration of zero to T I D T. And that'll equal to 10 plus, take that two pi out, 65 by that, so five. So that give us one over two pi. And changes from cosine to sine 60 pi times t and all of that is voltage. So we can then go ahead and multiply the current times our voltage. So P of t is equal to, so five we multiply the current times this, which is was five cosine five. So that'd be 50 cosine 60 pi times t plus multiply the current by this and that will be five so that'll be five over two pi sine 60 pi times t times cosine 60 pi times t if we evaluate that 0 0.005 milliseconds, we'll get 29.768 watt. So there we go. We found all what was asked for by using what was given. And that's it for today's basic concept problem. See you in the next one. Bye.